In today's session, let's take up the purchase returns and the sales return books, which comes under the special purpose books. We have already seen the purchases book and the sales book, so these two are related uh, to purchase uh, books and sales books. Purchase returns book. First, we will take up this uh, purchase return book. It's also called as the uh, return outward, return outward book, right? So basically, the purchase returns book is prepared in order to record those goods which have been returned to the suppliers, right? And again, these goods should have been purchased on credit, right? So those goods. Which have been which had been purchased on credit, and the buyer has uh, noticed some fault in the items. Either they are defective or uh, they are not as per the order specifications, right? Or some other reasons, right? Okay, uh, maybe the quality is not uh, up to the mark, or the consignment has been received late, or something like that, right? So. the the buyer can return the goods back right and that will be that will be recorded in the purchase returns books right the goods which had been purchased in cash that will not come here the goods which had been purchased on credit and they are being returned right so they are the purchase returns which will be which will be recorded in this purchase returns books right so here basically when the goods purchased on credit right are returned to the seller or supplier of the goods due to reasons of due to reasons uh, like defective goods unsatisfactory quality of the goods etc right these are recorded in the purchase return books right there is something called uh, a debit note which you should know in this right whenever goods are being returned to the supplier a debit note is prepared right and this debit note along with along with the goods the debit note is sent to the supplier right now the debit note contains the amount of the goods that are being returned right we call it as a debit note because the party to whom the goods are being returned their account is debited right so that's why it is called as a debit note right so debit note number is the basis on which this purchase returns book is made right like in purchases book sales book you have a invoice number here you will have a debit note number and debit note number for the purchase returns books on the basis of which we will be recording the entries right for sales return it is the credit note which i'll be coming to later on so for the purchase returns book debit note number is the basis for recording transactions in the purchase return book right now look at this question 
only two transactions here return two tape recorders purchased from prima electronics at the list price of 2000 each less trade discount 20% and return four two in ones purchased from sandeep electronics at the list price of rupees 2500 each less trade discount 10% so here we will make this purchase returns books date particulars and here as i said we will have the debit note number fine then the ledger folio fine and details and amount okay so the columns will be like this date particulars this is uh, debit note number right then you have the lf and uh, details and amount right okay now the first transaction the date is given as july 5th so we'll write the date here fine july 5th and the name of the company return to tape recorders purchase from prima electronics so here you will write prima electronics and what were returned to them two tape recorders of rupees 2000 each right so here you will have of rupees 2000 each that comes to uh, two tape recorders this 2000 each so that comes to 4000 rupees right whatever is the trade discount given that has to be deducted so less trade discount 20 percent right so 4000 into 20 percent is 800 rupees that will be deducted from here 800 right so here you will have 3200 as the amount fine so this is the first transaction right and then you will have the next one which is july 23rd so here you will write the date as july 23rd and uh, messrs arun and sons so here the company name comes messrs arun and sons oh sorry sorry i think i took out the wrong thing yeah one minute it's not arun and sons here it's this one return four two in ones purchase from sandeep electronics so here you will have sandeep electronics sandeep electronics return four two in ones of rupees 2500 each right so here four two in ones of rupees 2500 each right so that comes to 10,000 right and then you have less 10% trade discount right less trade discount of 10% fine so that is 1000 rupees so here this will be 9000 which will come in the amount column fine so that's it these are the only two transaction uh, for the purchase returns books so now you will total this so 9000 plus 3200 is coming to 12200 right that's all you have to do in the purchase returns books right and um, when you post this to the ledger you will have a purchase returns account fine in the ledger will have this purchase return account purchase re return account this will come on the credit side right purchases have a debit balance purchase returns will have a credit balance right so here on the credit side at the end of the month or at the end of the year you will write buy um, sundries as per purchase return book right the total will come like this 12200 okay hmm. 
and for the individual uh, parties like prima electronics and sandeep electronics it will come on the debit side like two purchase returns account in their account so in prima electronics account you will have two purchase returns 3200 in sandeep electronics you will have two purchase returns 9000 so that is how uh, we do the purchase returns book right and here the debit note number will come along with each and every uh, purchase return right so that is all you need to understand about the purchase returns books now you have this uh, sales return now sales return as i uh, said sales return book is something which is for the credit sales right okay hmm. so those goods which had been sold on credit right which had been sold on credit if they are returned back right then it should be entered in the sales return book or we also call it as the return inward book right now here in the sales return book you have a credit note instead of a debit note okay and here the credit note is the basis of recording the transaction so instead of that column in uh, the purchases return book we had the debit note number here we will have the credit note number the credit note is sent to the customer right uh, this is basically to intimate that his account has been credited fine so credit note means his account has been credited so here again let's do the small uh, question here Messrs. Latika and Associates returned hundred pieces of jeans of rupees three hundred each. No trade discount is given means nothing will be done. If trade discount is given, then uh, that will be deducted, right? So uh, very simple one here, wherein you have to just uh, record the transaction, nothing else, right? So you'll have a date column, particulars. Remember, this will be a credit note number, right? Ledger folio details and amount, right? So here. Uh, this is date particulars credit note number fine lf and then details and then amount fine okay now latika and associates so here i'll write the name of the company right date is not given there 100 pieces of jeans 300 each right here you will write 100 jeans of rupees sorry of rupees 300 each right so that is 30000 rupees that will come here fine and there is no trade discount as such so it's only 30000 here fine and the next one is arun and sons return 50 pieces of shirts worth 200 each right so here i'll write arun and company 50 shirts of rupees 300 each right so this is how much 15000 rupees right so 15000 right so that's it okay the total here is <clears throat> 45000 so at the end of the month or at the end of the year you will have uh, the sales return account sales return account will have a debit balance so in the sales return account you will have on the debit side you will write i'll show you sales return account on the debit side it will come two sundries as per sales return book right and this amount will come 45000 and for the individual like uh, we had uh, latika associates right here it will come on the credit side right you'll have buy sales return on that particular date i mean the date of the transaction buy sales return uh, account 
whatever was the amount i think it was 30000 or something like this and in arun and sons you will have again by sales return 15000 like this so this is how it will be posted into the ledger so in this session we have looked at uh, the purchase returns book and the sales return book and we have taken up a question on both of them so with that i come to the end of this uh, session bye